In this video, I'm going to explain why it's really important when building with timbers in the round that you remove the bark. G'day, welcome to Chestnut Nags, Tools in Japan. My name is Stuart Chignall, and this is part of a series that I'm doing on me building my new workshop. Techniques and methods I'm using uh, were used in Japan, but they were used much more broadly than that across a huge range of time periods and geographies and cultures from prehistory up until uh, the well in, into the 1900s in the Western world we were still building buildings like semi-permanent low-value buildings in the developed world this way uh, and in other parts of the world they're still building using these methods but the bit today we're covering is why it's so important to remove the bark when you're building with a uh, with a pole a bush pole as we call it in Australia a large proportion of the wood that's in the pole is sapwood, especially if the pole is really small. And sapwood in almost every single tree species around the world is very vulnerable to fungal, bacterial, and insect attack. Now there's various ways of preventing those things from eating wood, but the simplest, the most environmentally friendly, the most sustainable is just to let the wood dry out. Bacteria and fungi can't attack dry wood. While there are some insects that will attack dry wood, they tend not to because dry wood is a lot harder than wet wood and the digestive system of the insects tends to need a little bit of moisture in there to make it easier for them to eat the wood. And the reason that is, is that dry wood is one of the driest environments that insects have to inhabit. Drier than a desert, drier than the driest desert because in a desert, at night, as it's, it, gets, it can get very, very cold, and as it tends to get cold, even the driest of dry airs, there is a little bit of moisture in the air, and when it gets cold, in the early morning, you get a bit of condensation on the surface, on the, on the surface of the dirt, on the surface of any vegetation that's there. And there's a whole stack of insects that have adapted to that, where they get a drink in the wee hours of the morning. If you're an insect, living in a piece of dry wood, you can't do that. You have to get all your moisture from the wood. So if your wood's dry, the chances of it being attacked by insects is vastly, vastly less. And the reason why it's important to remove the bark is simply because the bark is very, very good at keeping the moisture within the timber. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you the simplest and easiest way to debark. So if you don't wanna miss that, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification, and I'll see you then.